but right click an empty spot from the taskbar and then select task manager. All right, now go to where it says processes and you should now see a list of apps that are running on your computer right now. These are organized into several categories such as apps, background processes and windows processes. Okay, now we are going to restart the search app, which may fix it if it's not working. Usually the search app is under where it says background processes, so you should check there first. So let me scroll down and I'm looking for the search app. There you go, here it is. Great, now once you see the search app, right click it and then click where it says in task. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, how would that fix the issue if I end the task? Well, by doing so, the search app will automatically restart again. Finally, after ending the task, go ahead and try to search for something. Try to see if it's working right now. If that did not work for you, try restarting Windows Explorer. So go back to where you were and go back to the processes tab. Just a little background info here, Microsoft actually gave the Windows Explorer a new name called File Explorer. So perhaps in future future versions of Windows 10, when you look for Windows Explorer, it will be File Explorer. So maybe you should look for that instead in future versions. But for right now, don't worry about this, look for Windows Explorer. Now depending on what you've been doing, you can find the Windows Explorer under the App section or under the Windows Processes section. In my case here, it seems to be under the Windows Processes section because I don't see it under Apps. So let me scroll down all the way and I am now under the Windows Processes section. And there you go, here it is, Windows Explorer. Now simply right click the Windows Explorer and then select Restart. What this will do is start the Windows Explorer all over again which will likely fix your problem. Once you have done this, go ahead and try to search for something to see if Windows Search is now working. Something else you can do to fix this problem is by using the Windows Search Troubleshooter. To do that, simply right click the start button and then select run. And now in the text field, you are going to type this text. Uh, it's best to copy and paste it because it's pretty, as you can see, complicated. And I'll have that in the video description. So all you have to do is copy it from there and then paste it. Once you have done so, hit enter or click OK. Alright, so now this should open the troubleshooter for search and indexing. And once you have opened it, click next. And now it's going to ask you what problems do you notice. So choose the problem that applies to you and then click next and then there you go it's going to identify a problem and it's going to try to repair these problems for you so go ahead and try that to see if it's working now the last thing you can do and this is basically guaranteed to fix your problem it's a system reset what it will do is turn your computer essentially brand new again you can choose to keep your files, but keep in mind it's going to remove your apps, for example. So keep that in mind, once you do this, you may have to reinstall your apps all over again. To do so, simply right click the start button and then select settings. Great, now once you have opened the settings app, click where it says update and security. And now look over to the left side, you should see where it says update and recovery, or it might even say reset. Click where it says update and recovery and then from there you should see the options to reset your PC. And now under where it says reset this PC, click get started. You will see two options, you can choose to keep your files or remove everything. Alright, so now once you choose an option, Windows will begin resetting and it's going to make your PC fresh like brand new again.